Hey gang, Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. So today's reveal and post review video is going to be of a canvas from Diamond Art Club called War Pony. This is probably my favorite ever animal diamond painting finish. I think this one is absolutely stunning and so before I gush over this one further let me not hold you in suspense any longer. Here you go guys, this is War Pony. So let me just pan from the top to the bottom so that you can have a look. Oh, isn't it just stunning? <laughs> I think this one is just so divine and obviously I will talk through what I love so much about this one, but I just wanted to give you a quick view of the entire canvas. As I've mentioned before, I tend to film with natural light, and so I've got light coming in here from the right, and I think you can see the sparkle that I'm getting from these round diamonds. So before we get into an actual chat about this kit and a review, let me give you some stats on this one. So as I mentioned, this one is called War Pony, it's a release from Diamond Art Club and the artist is Laurie Prindle. The size of this one was um, 56 by 71 centimeters. It's a round drill painting with 32 colors, which includes two ABs. The total number of drills was 49,896. And I think any level of diamond painter could work on and enjoy this canvas. I think if you're a beginner, if you're intermediate, if you're advanced, you will get joy off of this canvas. So let me just start off by saying I am generally a massive fan of squares. But the more rounds I work on from Diamond Art Club, the more I'm falling in love with them. I actually think the end result on the Diamond Art Club rounds is just fantastic. In my earlier days of diamond painting, I went off rounds a little bit because I used to feel that the image was not as clear and that there was more pixelation with round drills than with square drills. I don't believe that's the case with most Diamond Art Club rounds because firstly, Diamond Art Club's quality is just fantastic and their rendering is awesome. And secondly, a lot of Diamond Art Club's canvases are in quite large sizes. Now, the minute you do diamond paintings in a much larger size, you're going to reduce the pixelation issue. So I am very happy to say that I am falling in love with rounds all over again, because why not? Look at this image. <laughs> this is actually going to be a Christmas gift for a family member of mine who just absolutely loves horses. Um, and I just think this one is absolutely fantastic. So before I gush further, somewhere around about now, I'm going to put a photo on the screen of this image just taken from further away so that you can get the full complete picture. I think it's always nice to see the completed diamond painting from further away to see what it would look like in real life hanging up in your house. So hopefully this photo of the, on the screen now is giving you an idea of that. Right, so let's move on. Let's start off by discussing the rendering. Now, I think I've already mentioned that I think the rendering in this image is absolutely stunning. I think it is very clear. I think the horse and all the detail has come out absolutely fantastically. And I think that would have even been clearer in um, or from that photo that I put up on the screen just now. Some of my favorite things about this canvas are the feathers. I just think these feathers, the rendering of these feathers is just so stunning. I just think it looks so gorgeous. I love the color of the feathers with the dark and the light. And there are actually some yellow ABs in these feathers, which just make them look, it might not be coming out so well in the canvas, but it makes the feathers sparkle a little bit and just look so stunning. And then obviously in the horse itself, there's also a feather over there. And then I just think the mane and the hair has been done so well on this horse. Um, so rendering, I can't fault the rendering on this one. It's, it's very clear and it's very stunning. 
Um, the symbols and the drills. Let's talk about that. Symbols were completely clear. I had no issue with them. As I mentioned, there are 32 colors in this one. Um, the symbols, because there are only 32 colors, none of the symbols actually were similar. I didn't get anything confused. Um, so I didn't have any complaints with, with symbols. The drills, again, Diamond Art Club's round drills are fantastic. You're not going to have a problem with their rounds. The trash was absolutely minimal. Maybe 10 drills in this entire kit. Um, I don't keep my trash, but I do just make a mental note. And um, if there is a lot of trash, I will note it in my logbook and I didn't have any notes about trash with this one and I remember because I've, I've finished it recently that there was really no issue with trash. Um, the AB drills, I think I did mention there were two of them. The one was a yellowish color and the other one was, guess what, 141, <laughs> which is the white. Now Diamond Art Club pretty much includes white ABs in just about every single kit that they release. Um, for those of you that don't know what an AB drill is, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a drill that has been given an extra coating so that it shines even more than regular drills. And the idea is that when you look at the canvas, those AB drills should sparkle and catch your attention more than the normal drills. Um, as with many Diamond Art Club kits, I don't feel that there were a massive amount of ABs. They use them very sparingly. Um, I think I already mentioned to you that some of the yellow ABs are in the feathers. Um, and then there were some white ABs just dotted around some of the decor on the horse, but really not a lot. This is not a kit that I would say is heavy um, with ABs and extra drills. As always, I didn't do anything extra to this canvas. I wanted to finish it as it was charted so that I could show you guys, you know, exactly as it was charted. Um, what else should I mention? Glue, no issues with the glue. This is double, oh, yeah, I'm about to say this is double-sided adhesive. This is not double-sided adhesive. This is poured glue. Diamond Art Club always and only uses poured glue and you are not going to have an issue with poured glue. You can move the canvas around. You can roll it backwards. You can work on an easel and have, have it hanging over one side as I do and you will never ever damage this canvas. Um, the other thing for those of you that are familiar with Diamond Art Club, their actual canvas material is so divine. It's like a velvet. It's very soft and obviously it has scalloped edges here so that you don't get fraying and you don't get little bits of um, cotton stuck on your canvas. So as always with poured glue in general, very, very few issues and with Diamond Art Club specifically, even, even less issues. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. I think the last thing to touch on maybe is just the color blocking versus confetti. And then if there was anything specific that I didn't enjoy about this kit. Color blocking versus confetti, a very heavy confetti canvas. Um, as you look at it now, maybe you don't necessarily think so, but I can honestly tell you that the only areas of color blocking are here, up here in the sky. And even then you can see it's a range of darker and lighter blues in the sky. So you were changing your colors. I mean, the background is not obviously one color, but there were still areas of color blocking there. But in the horse itself, um, I think you can see like with the feathers, with the... Um, Oh, the hair, but also with the uh, all the the stuff that is on the actual horse, the arm. Well, I shouldn't say armory, but the 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 decoration that they've put onto this horse, and then this section here, <laughs> the grass. So this is the grass in the background. Now, if you can see, this is extremely confetti heavy. And I did find it a little bit boring, if truth be told. Just this section wasn't my favorite to work on. 
because it was a lot of um, confetti, but also done in lines. So some people call that line blocking. But because the, the colors in the lines were changing constantly, it was line confetti. <laughs> I've never heard that word used, but that's almost what it was. So working on this section here was really heavy confetti. And because of the colors, did tend to get a little bit boring. But obviously, as soon as I moved on to working on the horse itself, I just absolutely loved this canvas. So I don't know if you guys can see also, but the type of colors that we used in this horse to give this patch, you know, this horse has like a patchwork look to it. Um, there actually are some pinks used in the coloring. And if you come really close up, you'll think, oh, that's a bit strange. I don't know if that works. But then the minute you step back, you notice that it works absolutely perfectly and the coloring, you know, is, is 100%. So is there anything I didn't like about this canvas? Genuinely, not really. I've touched on the fact that working in this corner at the bottom here wasn't my absolute favorite. But the fact of the matter is it needed to have that line confetti to get the end result, you know, to get the feel of this is grass, this is felt grass in the background. And I really do think that it came out fantastically well. Um, I suppose the only other thing to note or that might not be for some people is that obviously this artwork has darker colors and more neutral colors. I know a lot of people, and myself included, love working on pieces or artwork that is full of pops of color, and you have pinks and purples and yellows. This is not that. Um, did it bother me? Not really. I think there were, I mean, there was probably like once or twice where I did think about it and think, wow, I could do with a little bit of color now. But like I say, as soon as I got working on the actual horse, because there was some lighter patches in the feathers, and lighter patches on the horse itself as well as some reds um, in this canvas and in the the decor that's been placed onto the horse um, I really didn't get bored I didn't sit there thinking oh this color scheme is just boring me to death so those are pretty much my final thoughts on this lovely canvas if you are an animal lover if you love horses if you know someone who does or if you just love working on round kits then i can guarantee you you will be very happy with this one and you're going to absolutely love the end result i know that i do it's genuinely one of my favorite finishes of the year i couldn't be happier with this one and so i can only recommend it to you guys I'm not sure as I film this now whether this one is still in stock. I will have a look on the website and either way I will link it below. Um, this has never been released as a limited edition. So even if it isn't in stock now, it should come back at some stage um, and then you guys can pick it up. Oh, but before I go, I was about to sign off and then I just remembered that I always like to just show you the drills and the pens that I used. So from the drill point of view, I did not run out of any colors. I didn't come close to running out of any colors. So hopefully you can see there. You can see now when I show it to you like this that the color palette um, is obviously much darker and there are a lot of neutral colors there. But look how many drills I had left over. Really no issue with drills running out or about to to run out um, just out of interest I know some of you like to see the pens that I used so I always tend to use two pens this is the first one that I used uh, this is from and here I go again <laughs> not being able to pronounce the name but this is from that French pen shop that French pen turner um, I will link his Etsy well he used to be on Etsy but I think he now has a, a shop of his own so I will link that in the description below and then the other pen I used was this gorgeous one this red with the the wooden inlays I just loved this pen and I thought this one just came out so nicely I think I bought this one on Etsy I think this was from a store called Lassen Lathe something like that i will try and remember and if i can remember exactly where i got it i will 
link that below. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this gorgeous canvas and hearing some of my thoughts. If you do fall in love with this one as I did, then dash over to Diamond Art Club and grab it. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic weekend ahead. And as always, happy diamond painting, friends. Bye.